What is up guys? Welcome back to Widowmaker Armory. Today, come to another video. We're gonna be doing a manufacturer review, brand review, whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna be on the brand, Emperor Arms. Badass brand that we stock here at our company. They are actually uh, based in Florida, Fort Myers, Florida, and they are primarily a shotgun brand. All they do is make shotguns, yeah. and they make some pretty cool ass shotguns. So, let's get into it. We've been uh, involved with Emperor Arms for a pretty decent time now. And we'll start off with this bad boy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, I'll give Adam the honor since he's the pump shotgun guy. Yeah, so like Nate said, Emperor Arms. I mean, they're just a really cool, really cool company that I don't, I don't think they're just starting out, but. No, they've been actually around. I was researching it. Technically, they've been around since 1964. Oh, wow. So they've been around for a long time. Um, it could, I know it's around 64, I might not be exact, but it was around that time. Um, but they actually were a traditional type shotgun. They were made in Turkey at the time, and they made, you know, like full wooden construction, yeah. single barrel, mm -hmm. you know, like typical pump shotguns. Then they transitioned then, to Florida. Yeah, I was gonna say. Then they moved to Florida and started making some crazy shit. It got a little freaking crazy. <laughs> so, typical Florida people, right, you know? But yeah, I mean, this, I, this is just like their, uh, Tactical home defense, 12 gauge pump. You know, it's got rail space and well, all their guns have rail space. They really never seem to miss out on that, which is awesome. Especially when you want to build them. And it's as, just, oh. As you're watching this video, keep these two words in mind. Unique and crazy. Yeah. That's, that's these guns. Yeah. Like every different model has its own little thing, mm -hmm. but then they all have some of the same characteristics and parts, which is actually awesome. Because if you buy more than one, then you're gonna be, you're gonna buy, you're gonna get your brand new one, and then you're just gonna automatically be comfortable with it. Cause you're like, oh, it's the same stock and same style stock. And okay, the rear grip's the same and the trigger's kind of the same. It's just, it's really nice that a company like this is making a lot of different guns with some of the same parts, just so you're familiar with it. Right. Well, and the, the number one thing too is the familiar, familiarity is right here. Because yeah. it was patented. Yeah. Uh, stock. The stock's patented by them. It has a chin rest. Comes with multiple different yeah. versions, but the whole, basically, the construction of it is all the same. Um, so it's got the you know raised chin pad. You can raise it, lower it. There's like five or actually there's eight different settings, or whatever. <laughs> you know, shotgun shell holder here. Just it's pretty cool. It's a good stock. I like it. It's comfortable. Yeah. And they pretty much put it on every single one they have. I mean, slightly different here, but. Same concept. Yeah, a little different on the AR-12s, but. AR-12, before I actually move on that, I want to mention one thing more about the pump. So, they actually have different variants of this mm. pump, technically. So as you can see, typical pump shotgun, boom, right? Tactical 12, whatever you want to call it. Little did you know, this isn't just your standard pump shotgun. Yeah. This model doesn't come with it when you buy it. But here's again, the versatility thing we're talking about. This stock comes right off right here. Boom, right here at the grip down, comes right off and you can put a little nub here and then you have just a nub shotgun, yeah. right? So let's just hold it freaking some Rambo oh, type shit. Let's fucking, yeah. you know, boom, sawed off down shotgun. here, sawed off shotgun. <laughs> so yeah, uh, they actually sell different variants of it. This is just the MP Tech 12, which is, doesn't come with a nub, but hey, versatility, you can buy the nub, take this stock off, put the nub on. Now you have the nubby shotgun. But they actually sell the King 12, which we are gonna be getting on this channel, hopefully sooner yeah. rather than later, because it is an amazing shotgun. Probably the coolest shotgun I've ever seen. Yeah. So imagine this Definitely. pump, it comes with the regular stock and the nub. It's the King 12, again, like I mentioned. It's a mag-fed pump shotgun. So it comes with a 10 round mag. Comes with a 10 round banana clip mag. So just imagine this, boom, 10 round mag, spring loaded pump shotgun with a nub. And any color too, you can get it in any color you want. Yeah, black, gold, they have an all gold one, American flag, well, neon. That's, the thing. that's another thing about how crazy this company is. Yeah. You can get these in anything. Any color. Anything. Any model, any color. Right. And two, the King also comes with a back stock too, so it, It'll look almost identical like this, but you'll just have a huge magazine sticking out of it. Yep. Which is, that's just awesome. That's an awesome feature. Speaking of creative colorways, 
Let's move on to the AR-12, or the, as technical terms, the Cobra 12. This is a semi-automatic mag-fed shotgun, AR platform, as you can see here. That is pretty loud, sounds beautiful. I love the sound of it. These guns are built so well. Pretty much full metal constructions. They do have plastic parts, but hey, what gun doesn't nowadays, right? And, it's, and the thing is, when it's plastic, it's gotta be done right. This is a yeah. very, very solid plastic. You know, that's just the shell. It is, it's already heavy enough because it's a shotgun, so I actually respect it because it's kind of I weight agree. reduction. I agree. But hey, this thing's beautiful. I mean, look at that. It's literally an American flag shotgun. If you're not interested in this thing, move out of the country. I don't even know why you're here. Because this is America. Welcome. <laughs> and plus, if you're watching this video, I'm sure that interests you. Yeah. But hey, like I said, semi-automatic mag fed. You can get extended mags for this. This is a five plus one. And I believe you can get 10 rounds for this. Yep. Um, so 10 round mags. Yep. It's got your handle grip slash iron sight. Two iron sights, actually. Overall, like I mentioned, really, really cool. The only thing I would like to see on it is actually a uh, adjustable stock back here. I think that would be yeah. cool. Sometimes they mainly don't do that because it's got a lot of kick. And when you have something adjustable like that, it's prone to break because be. you have a full, ex when you have it fully extended and then boom, that power comes through, pushes it through because this does have some kick. This thing's got some balls. Oh yeah. Another thing I love about these shotguns is I'm all about decking out your shotgun, decking out your gun, right? Put all the stuff that you want on it, make it yours, make it cool, right? Emperor Arms does it. Oh yeah. Not only do they ship it to you with already some cool shit on it, but they ship it to you with the most rail space I've ever seen on any shotgun. A full Picatinny on top, Picatinny on the right side, Picatinny on the left side, Picatinny on the bottom, Picatinny Whoa. by the freaking mag. On the back. They're everywhere. On the bottom of the stock. Yeah. On There's the Picatinny back here on the stock, like Adam just mentioned. People say it's overkill, but I don't think you can ever have too much room. There's Picatinny on the bottom yeah. of the stock. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> and, and here's the thing is, yeah, like Adam said, people could say it's overkill, whatever. All these, you don't even necessarily notice. Exactly. But they're there if you exactly. want. Exactly. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So like, it's not, it's a good design because you look at that and you're like, oh, cool, regular stock. But oh, pick a tinny, pick a tinny. Stuff down here, you know, and if I'm using this shotgun, I'm not using it to hunt, exactly. right? I'm using it for home defense slash range days, right? And it's it's very comfortable too because they made it so you don't have to have a foregrip on it mm -hmm. or your hand is actually there and it's rounded on the rails so it's not sharp and jagged and it's, it's actually fairly comfortable to keep your hand there. Right, another thing I just noticed, hold that shotgun like you might if you're an AR user and you don't have a foregrip. Yeah. Hold it by the mag. You no, feel that serrated edge there? Yeah. It's exactly. actually gripped. It's gripped right by the by the mag. So this gun, these guns do have a lot of little touches that really make them well worth the money. Yep. Well worth the money. You you don't commonly find it because like typically a, a you know a common technique you do is the right here, right? Yep. They're holding it by the grip. You know, I mean by the grip. Sorry. They're holding it by the mag. Well, right there. Boom. Comfortable. I think that's comfortable. I might not do it with the shotgun just because it's a lot of kick. But hey, if you like it, you like it. And that's what you're gonna do. They have a literal, what do we yeah. all call it, perforated whatever grip there by the magwell. Freaking awesome. That, Once again, American flag. Badass. Same exact gun in chrome. Mm -hmm. Now this is same exact gun in black, but this is actually gonna be. This is a uh, our personal gun, so we're gonna build this into a, a badass home defense rifle and yeah so that I'm is about that. that is technically macy's our producers yeah gun yeah and like adam said as you can see we already started we removed that uh iron sight yeah as you can see here that's you know typical m16 style whatever uh iron sight that's on it removed it boom straight freaking ar 15 style Gonna deck it Looks out, good. lasers, all that shit. Cool stuff we're gonna do. But um, one thing I forgot to mention, it's kind of important, is how affordable this gun is. Yeah, a any of them. Yeah, and I should have mentioned it earlier because you're probably looking at it going, dang, yeah, that's that's a badass shotgun, probably costs like a grand. 
try like not even freaking close to that. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> not anywhere close. I think that. we pay six hundred bucks. I think you sell for. Yeah. Think we'll just say six hundred yeah. be safe. Prices fluctuate. I'm sorry if it's a little higher than that. It might be, but still, even if it was eight hundred dollars, that's a good exactly. price, especially for this American Five One, which I believe is eight hundred. These are like six hundred. I mean, don't get me wrong. Gunmetal gray is pretty damn sexy. Yeah. American flag is sexier. Yeah. But this is a close second, especially for the price, right? Like I said, you can go crazy with colors. They fluorescent pink, orange, I mean, flames, anything. Full Call of Duty mode if you want, just get a full gold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maxed out here. Full, full gold. Yeah. That's right? insane. You're a god. Yeah. But yeah, no, the bang for your buck in this gun, not even just this gun, this whole company. It's just crazy. Like we've been noticing, I'm still noticing little stuff on this gun. Yep. Three months after I bought it, like. Well, I mean, shoot it. Like I just noticed this. There's just yeah. there's touches everywhere. Exactly. You know, you just don't even realize. Exactly. Like, like the more you mean, play with it and shoot it, the more you're like, oh wow, that's pr that's pretty neat how they did that. And right. Very unique. Very thought. You know, they went very thought thoughtful with it. A lot of cool stuff, man. I, I like it a lot. I mean. There's a literal shark on the front of that there. If you yeah. didn't see it, yeah. right here behind my, or in front of my hand, there's a shark on this gun. Pretty dang good. I know we talked about construction on, of this gun already. Hit that bolt release for me real quick. So everybody can yeah, hear this shit. It is. <laughs> Give it the MP5 slap. Yeah. This thing is freaking beautiful. I mean, just listen to this shit. Built very well. Great materials. Once again, made in America, four to yeah. four wires. And even I, mean, I love them. even the pump has that sound. That you yep, it's the sound everybody's hunting for when they want to buy a pump. I mean, it's, you you can just tell the quality. Yeah, you really can. Great gun. Quality for price. That is, if that ain't the most American thing ever, I don't know what it is. Quality for the price. I really think that's what this company strives for: is to give you the most for the least amount of money. Which right. Because their stuff I think isn't that expensive. Doing, yeah, they're doing a great job. And that's the thing too is I know obviously guys who are a gun dealer, we do this for a living. That's why I make these videos. We sell these guns. This is no way, shape, or form trying to hype up a company. Yeah, we're not sponsored by them. Yeah, we're not sponsored. We we stock what we want to stock because we think it's awesome. We exactly. think it's cool. We want them ourselves. That's why we stock them because <laughs> we keep half of them for ourselves. Exactly. So if you're watching these videos. Everything we say, true from the heart. I'm, gonna, I'm never gonna steer, steer someone wrong because these are my personal guns. I love this thing. Yeah. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. Cobra 12, freaking amazing. That's I why say. Adam bought one. We, we, we got this in and I think two or three days later, this was in my personal collection. I mean, it's yep. it's a great gun. Mm -hmm. yeah. show, show them the uh, sight release that they have. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. This was the same for the front and the back. The sight, it's literally just a button that you push and then you can slide it right off and then quick and easy to done. change out yeah and the thing is too is it's picatinny it locks in there so you're not going to worry about it flying off yeah just because of how easy it comes exactly off. and you can put that i mean you can put that front side on anything too yeah but i mean it's, it's plastic but you're not going to use iron sights on a 12 gauge anyways come on now yeah exactly who would do that <laughs> Hey, we should put some flip-up sights on that thing. Oh, yeah. We some flip-up sights, but then also a scope. I sight, agree. whatever you want to do. I agree. Yeah. Flip-up sights like the... You could, Well, you could do, because there's so much rail space, you could do flip-up sights on the side of it or something. You could. So if you're using, like, home defense. Yeah, exactly. Peek around a corner. Have 45 on it. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. But, hey, Emperor Arms. We're going to get a lot more of these oh, shotguns. Yeah. King 12 in mind. I think they have one called the Banshee, which is even almost as cool as the King 12. Couple. It's another nubby, but it's way shorter. It's like this big. Hmm. I think it's the minimum size you can have legally okay. for a sawed-off shotgun. Okay. And oh, it's freaking cool. It's like all wood grain and metal, and oh, it's badass. Oh, but hey, anything yeah. else you got to say about this company? Um, I know we do actually carry a semi-automatic version of this. Yes. It looks just like it, but it's semi-automatic. Just want to throw that out there for if you were looking for something like this, but didn't want to pump, it's semi-automatic. They do make one exactly like this. Has all the features, everything. It's just not a pump. And honestly, I mean, I, as much as I love the pump, 
I'm definitely a semi-automatic guy. I think that, you know, is a good route to go to. Not super heavy with shotgun already as it is. And then yeah. you add the semi-automatic feature into it. I mean, this is a great, this is a great it gun. It is. It really it is. It's a great gun. I love I'm excited it. to show you guys more of this. Oh yeah. More of that. Oh yeah. So I think that about wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, this is an Emperor Arms review. If you want to check them out, we have an email down below and a Facebook page. Feel free to message us. We'll give you all the information you need. Hey, that's it. Yeah. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave a like. Also, leave a comment down below on which one of these shotguns you would be taking home. Or if you have one, another one in mind by this company, leave that down below. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, this is Nate. Peace.